Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of Android Development. If you have not seen part 1, I recommend you go see it. Um, today we will begin our first Hello World application. But this application will have a little twist. Most Hello Worlds only show text. Usually they say Hello World on the screen. However, in this Hello World, we'll create a button that every time it's pressed, it will update the time that it was pressed on the phone also with your location. So I'm going to go ahead and start Eclipse. Okay, and now I'm going to new file, or file, new, Android project. And I'll zoom in here. Project name, I'm going to type Hello, Android. I'm going to target two point one with update one. I'm going to name it Hello, Android. Package name com dot tck dot hello. Android and this is where you would put your company name right here with com before it for create activity I'm just going to type main and I'm going to leave min SDK version alone hit finish and there's something wrong with my version of Eclipse where it always creates two errors I found that the easiest way to resolve this is simply restarting the program so I'm going to quit out of it and restart Eclipse. And the errors are all gone. So I'm going to open the hierarchy. And I'm going to SRC and just go all the way down and double click main.java. Okay. Now over here will be your actual Java code. So first thing I'm going to do is erase all of this middle code here. And now I'm going to import a few things. Okay. First I'm going to import Android dot lowercase view dot view with an uppercase V. Next import Android dot widget dot button with a capital B semicolon. Next import java dot u t i l dot date with a capital D now don't worry about these warnings they're just saying you haven't used um, anything yet so now I'm going to come where it says activity and write implements capital view or capital V in view dot on click listener okay now I'll hit enter and capital B for button space btn semicolon okay I'm going to skip two lines put at override public void on create bundle I C I C L E goes next and then I'm going to start a curly bracket 
Okay. Hit the enter key and type in super dot on create begin parentheses I C I C L E and we'll discuss what this is in a future tutorial. Semicolon. I'm going to skip twice. Type BTN equals new space capital B in button parenthesis this close parenthesis hit semicolon btn dot set set on click listener and in parentheses put this update time with a capital T in time no space between the two words and open parentheses close parentheses with nothing inside semicolon hit enter once more set content view btn and this will make the button take up the entire view okay and make sure there's a close curly bracket there okay I'm going to hit enter twice more after the curly bracket and type public void on click capital view and then lowercase view curly bracket update time open and close curly open and close parentheses with nothing inside and make sure to close off that curly bracket okay now come down here hit enter once more type private this time void update time open bracket btn dot set text with a capital T open parentheses new date open and close parentheses with nothing inside dot to string open and close parentheses once more with nothing inside make sure there's another close parentheses on the outside of that and hit semicolon and make sure that this is closed as you can see right here okay now what this is basically saying is that the activity which is your app implements the on click listener which is what happens when you click it the button itself okay over here it's saying you're creating a new button and the button simply updates the time this is another uh, variable that you create here where you tell the button to set text inside the button of the date to its string okay so now to run this just going to zoom out and hit this I'm going to click the hello Android app itself I'm going to hit the arrow I'm going to go to run as Android application and I'm going to save all changes and here's the simulator will pop up if you have your phone that is an Android capable device plugged in it will actually start up on your phone so I'm going to unlock it and here's the actual app let me zoom in now this entire screen is the button here's what we have called our app and when you click it you'll notice that the time updates it says the day the date the time where you are and the year 
and you'll notice the time changes right here every time you click it. So this has been our Hello World tutorial. All of these files will be on my website that will be in the description. This video, if it's uh, if you can't see the text at all on YouTube, the video will be in Pure HD available for download on my site. Um, so thanks for watching. There will be many more parts to these Android tutorials. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you.